Hey dreamers, it's Maya and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be running with you guys, talking to you and reviewing Friday Night Hair yet again. It's been a couple years since I worked with Friday Night Hair, but they're kind of one of my OG companies. I love their wigs. And if you go way back, you can probably find some videos of me reviewing their wigs before. I think even this one, but I thought I'd do an updated review, an updated styling video. So here we go. This is the GLS 109. Um, I only did a little bit of trimming in the styling video, so you can see how long it is. This is how long it actually is. Now let me get up close and show you guys these curls. Now, I brushed these curls out a bit. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I love Friday Night Hair. The only thing with Friday Night Hair, y'all, Friday Night Hair, I really wish you guys would switch over to some softer lace. That is my biggest con with this company. And like now that I've worked with so many companies and so many different wigs, like this is probably the word. I mean, the lace, <sighs> there's pros and cons to it. This lace is super hard, pretty uncomfortable. Um, you know, but it's a synthetic wig. But I do like how it lays. Like, I was really able to lay these baby hairs, as you can see. Um, and it was easy to work with. It's just so hard. Like, crunchy, hard. So, that is my only con with this, um, with this wig. If you guys want to stick around and watch the styling, then obviously just keep watching this video, and I will see all of you in my next one. Bye. Okay. So I thought that I would bless you guys with a voiceover today. So sit back and relax and let's get into this. <laughs> um, what is going on with my audio? See, I tried to be... Anyways, so let's get started. So first I am going around the um, perimeter of the lace and I'm basically putting, putting together what will be the future baby hairs and for the first time or especially in a long time I am plucking the hairline I used to not even understand the point of doing this but it makes such a huge difference when you go around that hairline and pluck like as many hairs as you possibly can without like your hand starting to flinch okay because it just I don't know there needs to be some space between the baby hairs and the hairline and it just looks a lot better when you go around and pluck so basically just pluck for dear life and um, I'll come back in a minute <laughs> So what I sh did not show was me cutting the lace because I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. So I cut the lace and now we're going to get into the application. Okay, so I have been using this adhesive spray and while you're spraying around your forehead, uh, you're going to want to use your blow dryer on cool and Basically, you're gonna blow dry on cool until it gets nice and tacky. This is actually important too. I used to just lay the thing right on there. It will not stick if you don't wait till it's tacky. So, I'm blow drying, blow drying it. I don't like wearing caps either anymore. I just was wearing that cap so I didn't get adhesive all over my actual hair, and my hair is actually really growing like crazy. But, anyways, took the cap off because I don't like to wear them and I don't do that whole cap method thing maybe one day when I'm feeling extra advanced but no so now that it's tacky I'm gonna go ahead and obviously start um, laying it where it belongs and after I get everything nice and pressed in place I'm gonna put on my um, my band that you guys will see here and then I'm gonna get into cutting those baby hairs
um, I'm finishing here, cutting them to the length that I want. You could go as short or as long as you want, but that's how long I wanted mine. And then obviously when I take my band off, I'll do some adjusting. But um, after I razor all of all of that hair down to how long it needs to be, I'm gonna remove my band and I'm gonna use my got to be gel and that cute little brush thing and just, you know, start brushing my baby hairs. You guys need to comment below and let me know if these voiceovers are even helpful because I'm looking at the video and I'm like, well, like, duh. So, anyways, just let me know in the comments if you guys like the voiceovers or what you think we could do without them. Honestly, I think I'm hilarious, so um, we're just gonna cut this right here. <laughs> laid into place you're gonna want to get your band again or your head wrap or whatever you like to use you're gonna want to lay that down again okay you're gonna want this to sit for about five to ten minutes and I'm pretty sure I can't remember but I went ahead and blow dried it too after um, after I put my band on Um, now this part this step is actually really important with this wig specifically you don't want these curls to be so formed like they are so I was just taking them apart one by one and then I'm just gonna start framing my face everyone's face is different everyone's uh, shape is different so I just felt like the hairs were a little too long right in front of my eyes so I went ahead and made a little bang super easy to do with curly hair and just did some trimming around my face where I felt like there was just way too much hair so you guys will see me doing that and that'll just take you to the end of the video um, if you are interested in purchasing this wig like all of my videos the link will be in the description box make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to see more amazing wigs this is a synthetic wig it's like $45, 50 bucks. I think it's a really, really good one. So, if you guys are interested in more wigs like this, or makeup, or vlogs, and all that, then hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.